Catholicism. <laughs> All the seats at the Sunday masses, filled with the masses, massive asses, classes pass as fast as molasses, ceremonial reading classes, read a little bit of Leviticus. All the kids are just a little too little for this. All the parents nod in agreement. I think I can vaguely see what he meant. It's too early in the morning glory to read another allegory story. The father reads a little bit farther, assuring the assured that they need not bother. When God, in verse 45, said that slaves are okay to buy, he meant that people, all from the start, each have slaves within their heart. Things that we have sold or bought and forced to pick our moral cotton. God calls us to set these free and free our hearts from slavery. And then as God goes on to explain the logistics of buying and selling slaves, well, the Bible's kind of like typos and they didn't really get it quite right. In the back, I sit and I nod to the beats that are bumping on my iPod. My God, he's starting to pray, and over the music I can hear him say, Dear God, dear Lord, dear big muscular man with a beard and a sword, dear great all-seeing being, my way or the highway, Yahweh, the blue-balled anti-masturbator, the great all-loving faggot hater, thank you and your holy might for making me both smart and white, and though this is your day of rest, I come to you with one request. There's so much pain beyond this steeple, wars and drugs and homeless people, sad where there should be joy, hate and rape and soldier boy. <laughs> and the world of darkness needs your light, so I'm sure your schedule's pretty tight. But my homie just had surgery, if you could fix that first. Come on, Jesus, you own me. Obama, can you pass some hope to the Pope? I know a couple dudes who want to revoke, so the church said nope, so the bros can't cope. The bros can grow up, but the bros can't cope. They've been in love and they've been addicted, but who said they couldn't? Benedicted. Because in the holy land of the Lord, he's the holy landlord, and dicks are evicted. But you can't be Benedict if you've been a dick under Benedict, but you can't be Benedict because there's only one Pope with only one dick. What? A dick on a Pope is sort of like a soap on a rope because it's pointless unless you're in prison. Throw up your Bibles, Christ is risen. Hallelujah. And now it's raining men because the gender ratio is 1 to 10. Winos at the Eucharist station, transgender substantiation. Jesus wasn't our Messiah. Get back, I'm a heretic and I'm on fire. It was Oedipus, those holy knights. Holy motherfucking Christ. And I'm a blasphemer, post-Katrina on a crusade. The crusades and blasphema. It's too late, we're fucked, we don't need you.